Freshmen in the McCormick School of Engineering and Applied Sciences are getting a hands-on experience in the design arena. Really hands-on. We want you to focus primarily on describing your design concept. It's going to have to be in the final proposal. The specific design decisions that you made and the reason for those decisions. A lot of engineering schools introduce students to real-world design while trying to prepare them for life after the classroom lab. But Northwestern's Engineering and Design Communication course, or EDC, takes the exposure one step further and actually places the undergraduates in the real world. Most engineering schools now have some sort of freshman design program that, that's it's become almost, almost mandatory because students really fought against the idea of you come into an engineering school and you do math, math, physics, physics, chemistry, chemistry, and you didn't actually build anything. But the thing that's fairly unique about EDC is that we are doing real projects with real customers. One of these customers is Chicago's Shedd Aquarium. When the vets at the shed needed a way to practice removing foreign objects from the stomachs of whales, they asked Northwestern freshmen to come up with the design. It was great because uh, it's kind of like, this is kind of what engineering is like in the real world. And we get to experience it as freshmen, so we kind of get to know, first off, like, what engineering is going to be like once we graduate. It moves the ring back and forth, the, the ring that creates the parasitic movement. The ring is going to be around the stomach, like that, and then it goes, it um, squeezes the stomach as, as, as it moves along. I told my parents that I was uh, walking around in the back alleys of the Shedd Aquarium, like behind all, behind all the displays and stuff, and they were all excited to hear that. And I'm really, it's an experience actually. Clearly there's not a huge market for whale stomachs. Maybe some other aquariums would want them, but it's not a huge market. But this is also the beauty of EDC in that here we can have students work on a design, spend 10 weeks, spend a fair amount of time, build stuff in the shop for something that doesn't really have a market potential. So this gives the students a chance to work on something that is very unique. Another unique design that EDC students were assigned was to build a bicycle rickshaw. The two-wheeler was the idea of a student who wanted an alternate way to get himself and his music team around campus. One of the main instructors down here, Steve Jacobson, he's a big bike fanatic. So it might have been good that he talked to him and he said, you know, what are the possibilities of this? And I'm sure Steve was um, for the idea. Uh, yes, some of the other um, projects that go on in EDC usually um, sort of tailored to people that have disabilities and have certain needs. Um, so this is a different project, but I think I think it's a good project. I really enjoyed doing it. Our, our whole team did. Yeah. I know the feeling. So I'm not concerned. No, it's not easy. How much is it? Originally, we were um, we were only asked to design a uh, like a solution, and he was going to take on the responsibility of building it himself. Uh, but we figured that like throughout the ten weeks, it would probably be boring, you know, after we came up with the design. And so as soon as we as soon as we decided we would build it, I I knew we would finish it. Just these bars is 4130, which is just like an aircraft grade steel tubing. And it's all welded together. The entire frame is welded together. We just used um, aluminum sheeting. It's aluminum uh, flat stock right here. It's a pretty thin, thin wall, so we could just bend it to the curvature of the tire. We put this um, rubber tubing on the outside of it so no one would get cut by if they run their hands on or anything. There is two supports that run along this way on both sides, and then there's two cross members that run right across there. So it's very supported underneath there. And this is half inch plywood, so there's no problem with anyone falling through. And we just used a, a simple canvas. It's actually fire resistant and water resistant. So if they were get into any problems, I guess they, they'll be all right. The seats will be all right. I can't get anything about the passengers, but the seats will be fine. While offering students a chance to create real designs for real world clients, the EDC also attempts to provide these state. future engineers with the skills needed to successfully yeah, communicate yeah, their work. ideas. But there are a lot of programs around the country in which there are communication or writing uh, oh, skills integrated into an engineering course and the writing instructors just become like TAs who are just correcting the grammar. We didn't want it to be that. We've been really fortunate to have wonderful administrative support from central administration, from the dean, so that we could actually have a writing instructor and an engineering faculty member in each classroom. And those communication skills are put to the test when the students present their final design to the client.
Hi, I will briefly describe to you each component of the well endoscopy trainer and how they closely replicate uh, the conditions of a real well swimmer. And hopefully you'll see that um, the replica well swimmer is suitable for well, well endoscopy and endograbber uh, procedures. And there isn't a commercial device out there. There's nothing, nobody's making these sort of things. So um, that, that group did a great job of putting together a, a device that will allow us to test and practice with the grabbers. I can with 100% certainty say it's the finest one in the world because I'm sure it's the only one. But yeah, it's, they did a really good job um, and we're anxious to test it. I think it helps us a lot. Yeah, I mean, course. we have no other way to do something like this. And as freshmen, to be able to be so hands-on in the design process for engineering, there's no other way that we could get that kind of experience. Uh, the aquarium is, is, is uh, benefiting tremendously, and I, I hope that the students in the program here also is benefiting, because it's been a lot of fun. Because they use real you know, outside clients that are, are part of corporations or businesses, it really gives us a good outside experience going to them, asking them what they need, and getting that interaction that we wouldn't get if we were just sitting in a classroom reading out a textbook. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, no problem. I'm not going to go very fast yet, though, OK? <laughs> Let's go through that puddle again. That's yeah, really. Fun. I like it. Come on, faster. Pull. A lot of the students have fabulous teams, and they tell us that this is the first time in their lives that they've been on a team with other smart people that in high school they were always the one who had to do all the work and so they developed a dislike for teamwork. So oh, when they no. come here they realize nice. they can start to trust nice. their teammates. Yes. Someone else will be able to do something and have a perspective that's better than theirs. So that's the ideal arrangement. Last night when we finished we took it out on the, on the Sheridan and then um, we ride up to, to Chris's dorm and we call him on the way. We're like, Chris, come on, come outside, come outside, come outside. He gets out there and he just yells out, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And he just got done screaming that. He couldn't believe that it was like working. Yeah. So that, I mean, the, like after 10 weeks, that was the most rewarding thing. Just well, have it. I mean, granted, I was sort of expecting some kind of catastrophic failure for something that we could not have foreseen in any yeah. way but that hasn't happened yet. Everybody likes to work with university students. It's just everybody, it makes everybody feel younger when they're working with university students. So I think, I think that's in general, people like that. But the chance to work with them and then end up with an actual product that helps you and, and, and fulfills a need that you have that would either go unfulfilled or would cost you a lot of money to get done is a great opportunity. It can be sort of very trying on one's patients when you're working away on uh, you know a lot of theory engineering analysis but then when you actually make something and you you know apply not very you know some fraction of what you learned in other classes to what you've made and it's it's moments like that that have sort of reminded why I'm an engineer <laughs> victory <laughs>